Hello everyone! In today's tutorial, I will discuss creating a text dataset for classification and sentiment analysis in Vertex AI. Generally, this is pretty simple, as the only requirement for this is to have a CSV or JSONL file that meets the specific requirements. Creating a text dataset can be done both through Vertex AI Web GUI or Python SDK. The process of doing that through the GUI is very simple as it comes down to uploading the previously mentioned file to Vertex AI. That is why I will skip it and focus on doing that through Python SDK. In the later part of the tutorial, I will also show you how to create an input file in JSON-L format, as it is generally more robust compared to CSV. So this will be helpful regardless of a create option that you choose. The datasets that I will be working with today come from Kaggle and will be linked in the video description. For text classification, I will work with the e-commerce text classification dataset, which contains product descriptions assigned to one of four categories. For sentiment analysis, I will use the Twitter and Reddit sentimental analysis dataset, which contains comments and their sentiments. All right, so I am inside of the Vertex AI Managed Notebook instance, and now let me run some code to create text classification dataset. First, I will start with importing Vertex AI library and initializing the connection. Next, I need to define GCS source with my input file. And now let's go to the documentation to see how it needs to look like. So on the official documentation page, you have um, some recommendations uh, regarding the data requirements for the single and multi-label classification. We are doing single label classification. So let's scroll down. As you can see, you can have your input file in two format, JSON lines or CSV. I will be focusing on the JSON lines. So let's look how, it lo how the structure of the file should look like. So as you can see, we need to provide the label and the inline text or GCS URI to file. So the only thing that would change is the name. So with the inline text, you have text context. And with the uh, GCS file, you have text GCS URI. Um, I will prepare an input file with this, uh, this structure. And also, uh, the next thing that we already can use is this uh, schema file for single label classification. Um, you need to copy this and basically we'll use it here as import schema URI. Now I want to show you how the prepared input file looks like. So as you can see, I have this, um, I'm following the schema. So I need to provide display name and the text content. And of course, uh, this is one file and each and every line is basically the separate record that will be imported. So now once we know how the input file looks like, we can basically create the dataset task. So there are three uh, variables that I'm passing display name and that's just my data set display name um, defined above so it will be text classification data and GCS source and import sch schema URI so now let me run it so you see that it started so if I go to the vertex AI I'm on the data sets page I need to refresh it you can already see it started importing so we'll be back once it's ready. All right, so after some time, the data set has been created. Now you can go inside it and explore it in more details. So that would be everything for the text classification. Now let's do the same for the sentiment analysis data set. To create text sentiment analysis data set, I need to do the following. Again, I need to make sure that I import the Vertex AI library and initialize the connection. Next, I need to define cloud storage source. So, so this is basically my input file. And now we are on the official Google documentation. 
where we have all the details and requirements that your input file needs to meet. And again, uh, as with the classification text uh, dataset, you could choose from JSON lines and CSV format. Um, so I have the JSON lines. So you see that uh, you need to specify sentiment annotation. So it needs to be um, sentiment in number and sentiment max. For the um, text content, we can either provide inline text with text content or we can provide text GCS URI and that will be GCS URI to a file. I will be working with this schema and this is how the input file should look like. So you have this sentiment annotation uh, where you provide sentiment number and sentiment max. So in my case, uh, sentiment goes from zero to two. So I put in the sentiment max uh, integer two. And then I have this text content where we have basically a text for which we have the associated sentiment. So we already know what should be under the GCS source. Now let's discuss the import schema URI. So that's basically the import schema that you need to copy again from the official Google documentation page. So we are under text data, sentiment analysis, prepared data. You have to scroll all the way down to input file. And there you have this uh, schema that you need to copy and paste. Next, uh, I just define my data set name and we are ready to create the data set task inside the Vertex AI. So I need to um, define three variables, data set display name, GCS source, and import schema URI. So let me run this. And it's already started. And you will be also able to see this once you go to your data sets page in Vertex AI. You need to click refresh. And as you can see, it started to import. All right, after some time, the dataset has been successfully created and you can use it as an input to your model trained on Vertex AI. Before that, you can also explore it by clicking on it. And here you have more details. Now let's focus on creating an input file. So first we'll start with a input file for text classification. So we start with our source, which is this uh, Kaggle dataset, e-commerce text classification. I already downloaded the data and uploaded it to my data folder. So right now, let me read the data, drop the duplicates because I know that they, they are some and display the top five rows. So this is how it looks like. Now we need to split full data frame into two lists. One will contain all the labels and the second will contain uh, the, the text. And now let's use the two above defined arrays to create this JSONL input file according to the requirements. So we already have our input JSON. Now let's save it locally. We can inspect that. Mm, so this is how it should look like. And again, it's always good to export it into uh, cloud storage because we will be pulling that. We were pulling that from the cloud storage before. So once it's done, it's easy to get the GCS source variable that is used when creating dataset task. You go to the details of your file in cloud storage and copy this gsutil URI. Now let's create input file for sentiment analysis. So we start with importing necessary libraries. Um, so source for our input file is of course the data set from Kaggle. And again, I op already uploaded it to the data folder. So let me read it, drop the duplicates and inspect. So as you can see, we have a comment. So our text and category, which is indicated by the integer number from minus one to one. 
and we need to map those values um, in, in the category column because uh, appropriate sentiment value must be integer from 0 to 10. So we will map minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2. So in our case, like 0 will be negative sentiment, 1 will be, let's say, neutral, and 2 will be positive. So now I need to split the full data frame into two lists and use those two lists to create a JSON-L input file according to the requirements. Let me save it locally. So now let me inspect how it looks like. So yeah, we have sentiment annotation, sentiment, sentiment max. Yeah, all looks good. And last step will be to export this to the cloud storage. And as mentioned before, this is useful because you can get your GCS source variable from details in cloud storage. So this concludes the tutorial. I showed you how to create a text data set for classification and sentiment analysis tasks together with their input files. All the code and files are available in my GitHub repo, linked in the description. So feel free to use it. Thank you for watching.